Hi everyone, it's me, Shalina, back with another Tuesday Talks. So I admittedly almost didn't do this today because I thought people are going to be avoiding social media today because, well, you know why. Um, you know what's going on here today in the States, and I figured everything was going to be fractitious and like, ugh, just be off the internet. But then I decided, no, I am not going to let external realities dictate what I am up to. So here I am with the Tuesday Talk, and what's my very exciting subject? Magnesium. Okay, so why magnesium? Because it is the perfect supplement to have on hand right now. And I'm going to tell you why. So it is a tonic for the nervous system. It's very cooling. It's very cooling for the brain, well, the entire nervous system, including the excretory and the secretory, secretory nerves. First of all, I think I mispronounced that. Secondly, I got to be honest. I don't know the difference between those nerves. I really don't. But I'm going to look it up and find out. If Maybe you should look it up and find out. We can learn together. So that's your homework. Um, or maybe you already know those what those types of nerves are, nerves are up to. Good Lord. Ugh, this is distracting being able to see your face. Anyway, um, if you know the difference between those nerves, please enlighten us and let us know. I want to know. Um, but it's cooling to the nerves. That's the main point. It's also cooling to the digestive system, the intestines. And of course, that makes sense because what do we use milk of magnesia for? And magnesium, it's used as a laxative. It's been, that's like, it's been used as a laxative forever. So we know um, that it works on the nervous system. It's also a go-to a lot of times for athletes, for sprains and strains and things like that. Ugh, you'll just do like a nice um, hot bath soak with Epsom salts, which is magnesium. So it's known to have effect on these systems. So you can use it externally or internally. Um, what else about magnesium? So, oh, it's a natural sedative. That's like one of the most important things. It's a natural sedative. If you take it as a supplement um, later on in the night or if you soak in a hot bath with it, it can induce really restful sleep. What else do I want to say about calcium? Let me look at my notes. I mean magnesium. Actually, no. Haha, <laughs> funny. Calcium. So, if you have too much calcium and not enough magnesium, if the ratio is out of whack, then you have calcifications of tissue. And what kind of diseases come with calcification of tissues? Let's see. Let us think. Um, gallstones, kidney stones, cataracts, heart disease, um, hardening of the arteries. Did I say kidney stones? What else? High blood pressure. Honestly, all sorts of things. Alzheimer's. Things that are not good. So arthritis. Okay, that's enough. Anyway, hardening of the tissues if you are deficient in magnesium. So it's great to take a magnesium supplement. I take one when I remember. Mm. I need to add that back on my supplement list, though, seriously. Honestly, I think I do these videos more for myself than for you out there. Um, what else about magnesium? <laughs> oh, magnesium deficiency is linked to a lot of cardiovascular issues. So if you don't have enough magnesium, then you are more likely to have things like weird, weird heart arrhythmias, um, high blood pressure, things of that nature. And having enough magnesium actually protects your arteries from the stress that comes to the heart with a sudden change in blood pressure. Now, can you think of anything that is going on right now in this country and probably will be going on for you know the next couple of weeks that could cause a sudden shift in blood pressure? I mean, I know I can think of things. So magnesium is a good one to be taking if you are going to be kind of immersed in the news cycle this next couple of weeks. Um, what else? Oh, so the recommended daily RDA. What is that? From daily allotment. Uh, shoot, that is not it. I can't remember what RDA stands for. Recommended daily. It'll come to me. But anyway, um, you can have up to 350 milligrams per day, according to the RDA. I cannot believe I can't remember what the heck that A stands for. Anyway, 
but you can double that easily and you still would probably be able to take more um what else do we have to have to say about that 30 a ah it's gonna bother me oh haha i have another show and tell so here we go right here epsom salt so this is an eight pound bag of epsom salt that i got from target i think it was under five dollars it might have been on sale. That's what's great about Epsom salt is it's um, it's affordable, it's accessible, and I mean it stores really well. So what you can do, if you insist on um, watching the news, you can draw yourself a nice hot um, bath and put in Epsom salt before you go to bed, and then you'll get very restful sleep. Um, Magnesium is a magnet, so it kind of like draws all the bad things out of you. And also, if you don't have enough magnesium, which I think I mentioned, um, your muscles, they literally can't relax. So you need to be saturated with magnesium so you can be relaxed. So that's why it's great to take in a bath. You can add some essential oil like lavender, which um, is really nice and is also soothing. What else did I want to say about Epsom salt? I think that's it. It's cheap, it's affordable. These are the same things, good lord. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, you can keep, I mean, I don't think it expires. Um, and I highly recommend it. And it's got other uses. I can't think of any right now. What else did I want to say about, oh, this is the thing. Salt in general. So I lived in Chicago for seven years, and I lived by the, um, well, no, that has nothing to do with it. But anyway, that salt company, I can't think of the name. You know the famous salt company with the little girl with the um, umbrella and the little yellow rain jacket? The rain's coming in sideways. That salt company, I feel like it's probably the biggest salt company in the country. Oh my gosh, if you live in Chicago, you drive by there and you see these giant mounds of salt. Like a mountain, literally like 20, 30 feet high of just huge thing of salt. Just out in the open, out in the elements. And then right next to the expressway and also right next to a giant paint factory, a giant paint factory that's just like spewing out like smog and paint and chemicals and like that the salt right next to it. Yikes. Um, and salt, magnesium is a magnet. So it's literally just sucking up all this like toxins in the air. And I know we all use that salt. Like everybody used that salt growing up. Like that's a huge salt company. I would not use that salt anymore. Not after seeing all that. Yikes. No. Oh, you know what else? Um, if you're like woo-woo kind of, which I admittedly am, then salt will also like, the magnesium will suck up not just pollutants in your body, but like in your energy field, in your aura, um, in your negative thought forms and things like that. So watch the news, then doubt yourself in a salt bath. And that's all the tips I got for you for... Ah, allowance, RDA. Recommended daily allowance. Oh my gosh, I remembered it. Anyway. <laughs> oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, follow, comment, and all that, please. Thanks. Bye.